I want to give you a definition for a word, and I'm, we don't use this word very often, so you might want to write it down. It's the word sozo, S-O-Z-O, sozo. It's a Greek word. We find it in this passage as well as many others in the scripture. It means salvation. It means salvation. And so, for example, if you want to read in Romans 10, 9, it says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Sozo is salvation. Salvation meaning I once was lost, but now I'm found. I, I once was dead, but now I'm alive, right? The, the Bible talks a lot about this concept of salvation, how the love of God invades our life, saves us today and for eternity, okay? Salvation, sozo. But there are also two additional definitions, okay? Sozo means salvation, but it also means deliverance. That makes sense, deliverance. So when you read in the scriptures about Jesus casting demons out, say, that word deliverance, that word is also translated as sozo. So you can look this up in Luke 8, 36. It says, And those who had seen it reported to them how the man who was demon-possessed had been made well, or sozo. Okay? Now, often we use this uh, metaphor of battle in our faith. We, we, we use it, and I think it's an appropriate metaphor to use. It's, it's biblical. But I just want to tell you, I feel it as, a, as just a human, right? As a man. I feel the battle. I feel the, the struggle internally sometimes. I recognize that the enemy and the flesh and the world come against who I am in Christ. And it feels like a wrestling match, right? It, it feels like th there's a battle going on. Can I get a show of hands? Anyone else feel like there's a battle? Yeah, and so what we want to do is battle well, and, and we want to stand even in the face of, of adversity, right? And so we recognize that. And that's absolutely true, but I also want to tell you, in one perspective, there really is no battle between light and darkness. When you flip on a light, it's not like the light begins a conversation with the darkness, and then they start duking it out, and then there's a wrestle match, and then finally the light wins and the darkness flees. When you turn on the light, darkness runs. Amen. So you need to know that in our faith, on the one hand, we live in this fallen world. We have you know, these bodies that are corruptible. Yes, there is a battle going on. But on the other hand, the battle's won. Yeah. Right? The, the God has no equal. He's not sweating some kind of cosmic war, hoping he wins. Okay? He's won the thing. All right, so you just got to recognize that. Deliverance, sozo. Salvation, sozo. I just want to declare to you, if you're in Christ, you are saved and you are delivered. And then there's a third definition. And the third definition is healing. Healing. And so, for example, in Matthew 9.22, Jesus, turning and seeing her, said, Daughter, take courage. Your faith has made you well, sozo. And at once, the woman was made well, sozo. Okay, sozo, healing. Let me ask you a question. In heaven, how many diseases are there going to be? None. Right. In heaven, how many joints are going to be aching? All right. All right. You, you, have to, you have to understand this, right? That, so we know what heaven's going to be like. Scripture tells us. So you have to understand that here and now, God has brought us healing. Our healing won't be complete until, right? And, and so we recognize the death rate down here is still 100%. But I want you to understand that there is a measure of healing that is for us. That we are healed. That we are delivered. And that we are saved. These things are absolute right now realities for all of us. But to step into it requires faith. That we, that we have to have faith. Faith that says pick up your mat and walk. And then you actually roll up your mat, pick it up and walk. Okay. Now, in Christ, you're saved. The problem is, you don't always feel saved, do you? In Christ, you're delivered. The problem is, you don't always feel delivered. 
In Christ, you are healed. You're whole. We don't always feel like that, do we? And so what I want to encourage you today, even as we walk around this actual site, I want you to contend for your salvation. I want you to contend for your deliverance and contend for your healing. In other words, pick up your mat and walk in it. So even if you don't feel saved, you say, Lord, I know I am saved because I trust in you. And I'm going to walk in my salvation today.